this guy here, the Pateros, Howard's on the River, my favorite place to stay in the area. Uh, I've got an exciting day tomorrow with Shane Magnuson of Upper Columbia Guide Service. We're unloading the car, Hillary and I are gonna get rested. We're meeting up with Charles here, the owner of Howard's on the River, and it's gonna be a good day. King Salmon and Sockeye on the Upper Columbia. It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. With Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by Gray's Harbor Unders. Morning everybody, it's Rob Holman with Northwest Fishing Reports. This morning I'm with Shane Magnuson, Upper Columbia Guide Service. Shane, thanks for having us, man. Nice to have you guys here. This is great. It's uh, beautiful weather. 87 today. It's good to get hot. Maybe 92 is kind of what I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping for 87. I got layers on. <laughs> we'll be all right. Yeah. 87 will be perfect. And the fishing's been good too. Yeah, you know, we've had a good morning bite here in Schland Falls, um, and then later on the day up at Wells Dam, which we'll run up to. And, and uh, real consistent fishing. We should get both kings and sockeye today. So. Sweet. We're targeting kings. This is the BB Bridge right here behind us. We're at Schland Falls on the Columbia River, about two miles from Lake Chelan. Yeah, Lake Chelan's just up through that canyon, and uh, we're here close to that, which is a nice venue for people to, to play when they're not fishing. And Lots of stuff to do around here. Yeah, we're, we're kind of in the heart of it. And Upper Columbia, this is kind of your home ground. Yeah, you know, we started the guide service out of Wenatchee area. That's where we ran our first trips 13, 14 years ago. Oh, okay. and, uh, and so we've been fishing here a long time. Biggest thing on these fish is let them take it. Uh, there's, you don't need to set the hook on them, they'll hook themselves. Just let that thing pin over, start to take just a hairline and grab her out and pull up tight on them. They, uh, they, they will commit. The downriggers, I can get uh, three rods effectively in the strike zone and a fourth close. This, this way I can get all five rods because I can stagger the leads and stagger them out where they are in the boat. There you go, rods in. Now what do I do? Oh yeah. He's fifth. Oh, he came off. Okay. I know where to find another fish. There, see how he twisted up the hooks and got them caught up and then he pulled them out backwards. Oh, uh, yeah. They do that sometimes. Turn that hook down backwards. Wasn't you, Charles? Okay. It was a smart fish. Smart fish. Got some fight in him? Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Keep it straight up. Oh! Up, reel down, reel all the way to that leg. There you go, lift. Alright. Pulse out some line for me. Pull it out. Keep going, keep going. Keep going and grab that leg ball. That way it doesn't bunk me in the head. Perfect. <laughs> it is hatchery. Woohoo! And we are started. 
Here it is. <laughs> So Shane said, just a second ago, Shane said, I'm feeling fishy. And we took a corner, and I think we got a pretty hot fish here. <laughs> That's a little better fish. Yeah. We just take the time. We got lots of time. We ate it. Still there? Uh, I think so. It's straight down. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he's still there. He's there. We started off peeling some line pretty nice. Oh! Hard to say. Nice. Oh! Right there! Ow! Ow, Shane. Ooh. I'll give you a hug. Gosh, I could use a hug right now. Sick of loser. <laughs> oh, geez, it was a nice fish, wasn't that, it? That was a good fish. No. That was a good fish. I told you I was feeling fishy, though. Well, I'll keep that feeling, man. <laughs> no answers for that one. Turn that. Get that camera out of my face. My heart bleeds for you. We got a redo. <laughs> that one ripped it too, Rob. Yeah, got a, got a nice piece of it. Oh, yeah. See a little fish down there? Oh. That looks like some tail. <laughs> I feel like everybody's kind of holding their breath on this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's holding I don't want to get ahead of myself this time, Shane. They seem like. Uh, how's, that, like a, how's that Fenwick rod and that pen reel? Man, it's a nice setup. Yeah, this, that, uh, that 11 foot rod and that new pen fathom that's coming out is, is really nice to fish on it. I've never, I've never had a chance to use this pen reel. I know we've had pen weeks before. Mm -hmm. Always a big fan. Right down to that lip. Right over. Right down. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good 20 pound fish. Yeah. <laughs> Come on up here, big boy. So I'll throw a little, oh, he's mm -hmm. going straight down. Mm hmm. Typical king. <laughs> All right, Shane, we're going to try her again here. There we go. Oh. Well, that's Heck yeah. We got a fin. So it is a wild. Oh. But it is a gorgeous fish. What a fun fish you catch. And man, it's full of life. Nice collar. Get him unhooked here. Just fish 20 pounds or a little over. Come here, big boy. Oh, and that's that right there. What a beautiful fish. And off he goes. He's got to go in right there. That was fun. <laughs> nice fish. Nice wow. fish. Yeah. <laughs> to the boat. We got one to the boat. That's a good start. Now let's get a keeper. Yeah. Next, next I'm trying, Shane. I'm <laughs> <Next> trying. <laughs> Shane was pointing out. He's got. He's got a pen. Fathom two. These are the prototypes. These are actually coming out in uh, September. It's the new line counter pen fathoms. Okay, uh, that's why I've never seen it. That's <laughs> why I haven't seen it. We've had a pretty good morning. Yeah, you know, it's it's been okay. We worked for our bites we had, but I think we had four or five good takes. And nice action. Big, beautiful native fish. Yep. Uh, and you've got something else planned for the rest of the day. Yeah, we're gonna go for about a 20 minute boat ride on up the Wells Dam. We should find some more kings up there, and that's where we'll get in the sockeye. So, is it typical that you spend your mornings here and then move up river? Yeah, you know, here at Chelan Falls, it gets its own good run of Chinook, and there typically is a, a morning bite here. Um, 
tends to die off a little mid-morning and then usually we get into a good midday bite up at Wells Dam based because of uh, water flows. So gotcha. um, this is a pretty typical routine, fish for a while, go for a boat ride and, uh, and fish a couple different spots. That's what's nice is, is you have multiple spots, you got a nice boat ride um, and uh, you can get into multiple species of fish. The sockeye, just pull it out and reel them in. We don't have to clear any of the other rods. And the majority of them get off. So once day's hooked, we'll net it and bonk it. And if not, I'm gonna put new shrimp on it and keep going. Chain's just dropping our lines in. We're right below Wells Dam. A little bit different program up here, huh? Yeah, this is, uh, we're in a back eddy here, so everybody's kind of trolling in circles. It's a, it's a big area, but we do have a few boats in here. Um, sockeye really stack up in here before they okay. go over the dam. And the kings do too, uh, especially with the water up the way they got it today. We should be able to get both. Is the fish on? All right, this is yep. exciting. Yep, seeing sockeye being caught already. And uh, that's the kind of the glory of this. Is we'll go around and we'll get lots of sockeye bites and then randomly a rod will fold over with the king on it. So, so anything we should look at differently? Um, we're running the same depth and uh, trolling the same speed, so there's not much, not much different there. Okay, so it's just boat. Guys need to be really cautious. There's a lot of boats. It's kind of a tighter area than we were. Yep, yep, tighter area. We're right below boundary lines. So you got to stay below the boundary. Okay. And, uh, and really kind of stay out of the current in the middle of the river. Stay over here in the slack water. sockeye hooked. Uh, Shane was calling earlier that he's uh, getting maybe half, maybe a little bit less of those sockeyes that hook up. Yeah, about 40 percent. About 40 percent to the boat. Lost them right off the back of the boat here. Uh, we're seeing some fish being caught though. We're gonna keep trying. nice and bright and full of energy as you can tell. It's a little uh, four pound fish, five pound fish and pull that rod all over the place. Oh, it's great fun. It was swimming every which way. Just it, what a ball to catch. We're still trolling around here targeting kings. We got our king gear, king flashers. That was a super bait. Pulling spinners also. But uh, we're still picking up the sockeye right on the king gear. So it's kind of Kind of a nice combo. Sockeye keep you busy a little bit, and uh, and then uh, every now and then that rod folds over the king on it. So you don't really know what you're gonna get. You just kind of keep going around. But uh, mini mini cup plug. This is Seahawk, and then I got a three hook setup. Um, a two watt three odd as a trailer, and a, a number four treble that goes in the hook garage. And uh, the reason we're still picking up sockeye is I'm running a red trailer on it, and. Uh, What's that? Slow that a little bit. Just like that. <laughs> three, three hook setup. A, a mini uh, silver bait. And uh, 
so we're still picking up the sockeye because we got that red hook on it, but the kings like it too. We're just sliding that right in there and, and running it like so. And then inside the super bait, we're packing tuna fish. That's uh, soaked in our gray bill scents. This tuna fish has uh, the sand shrimp and the salmon, uh, which has anise and then, of course, that, that sand shrimp flavor. And uh, that's all we're doing today. Just pulling that around and seems to be picking up both. She's caught a king off this and now sockeye. And, yeah. and we're just going to keep going around. Yeah. Pink rod. What's that? Lucky rod. Lucky it's the rod. pink rod with the pink line and the pink smile blade, and it's going to get pink shrimp. And I'm going to put it right here in Rob's rod bowl. I'm going with the lucky rod today. Pink is my color. The lucky rod. Had to get out the lucky rod, bro. What's that on you, though? I, I think you, my collar. I think you fit. So the lucky setup there. We got a Mac Smile Blade. Pink, tip with sand trip. Off the old Pro Troll. We're gonna get this baited up and get back at it. So after picking up a couple sockeye, we're gonna head down to finish our day at Chelan Falls, see if we can't put some more kings in the boat. Mike Curry with Northwest Fishing Reports. My friend Robbie and I are coming to you today from Lake Meridian in King County. This is a urban kokanee fishery. There's also rainbow trout in this lake for the bass guys, there's smallmouth bass, and there's perch. The lake is about 150 acres and it uh, gets stocked every year with around 40 to 50,000 kokanee and other 16,000 or so rainbow trout. So there's plenty of fish in this lake. There's a city boat launch, which is currently being renovated. We launched out of the Washington DFW launch, which is discovery access required, discovery pass. It's a very flat, small boat launch, but we did manage to get our boats out here. We'll be using some of our sponsor lures today. We've got, uh, to start off, we've got a orange spin system from Rely Lures and then an Elgin God's Tooth in gold and silver. Last but not least, a fish with Gary, a royal pink spinner. So we'll get these in the water and see what kind of success we have. Let's go fishing. After giving it a little more thought, we've got a lot of pink out there, so I'm gonna put out a green uh, fish with Gary green spinner. It's got a little pink in it, but it's got that green tones just to show the fish some different things. There we go, first fish of the day. Beautiful morning out here on the lake. It's calm, Mount Rainier in the distance. Pretty little lake to go fishing on. Oh, look at that. That's a trout. Another good morning. Looks like we're getting into the trout. Two on long line, huh? Yeah, two on the long line. There we 
Fish on. Might be a coconut. Mike's got a coconut. Dinner. No, that's a trout. Oh, <laughs> darn it. I forgot to print out from Northwest Fishing Reports the depth map for Lake Meridian, so we've had to do it ourselves today. We've done a couple laps around the lake and I've been keeping us on the 50 foot contour. So now I have that on my GPS and all we gotta do is follow and stay within those lines so we won't have to worry about our downriggers getting hung up. So far, it's been a, a rainbow kind of day. We haven't seen any cokes yet, but uh, have gotten some rainbows, so we'll keep pounding the water. There's our kokanee. Getting him to bites been a little more challenging. Oh, oh, oh! Go get it, go get it! Wow, that just slammed that door. Let's hope it's a kokanee. I think it's another trout. Trout day today. The rainbow have been entertaining us here on Meridian. I'll say that. Another uh, nice size trout here in Lake Meridian. Robbie and I had a good day out here on the water. We were catching rainbows today, no kokanee. If you're interested in this urban fishery, you can get more information on Northwest Fishing Reports. Just go to the lake information page to print out a map, uh, read up on latest fishing reports, and go get yourself some fish. We'll see you on the water and online. Lodging for today's show provided by Howard's on the River. Enjoy waterfront luxury on the Columbia River in Pateros, Washington, Southern Gateway to Okanagan Country.